Hey, this video is for a friend who's a big fan of Pikami. Pikami is a VTuber that's graduating within the next 24 hours. While I've only seen a few clips of her, I knew she meant a lot to him, so I wanted to pay homage to the end of his Oshi's journey by exploring their community. To do this, I'll be parsing through Pikami's history with a few clips and the usual admiring of fan art on Twitter. So, here goes. Amane Pikami began streaming to YouTube on March 19, 2020, a year notoriously known as the peak of the coronavirus pandemic. While everyone was staying indoors, streamers, and particularly VTubers, became a sort of comfort and escape from what was an increasingly terrifying reality. Pikami, being the positive, excitable Pikachu monster hybrid she is, filled that comfort role naturally. With a deep love for games, donuts, wooden spatulas, friends, and Maroon 5, she proceeded to stream for three years. Over that time, people got to learn her personality quirks and, in time, came through with fan art and memes. Looking at some of the Twitter artists out there, currently, it's populated by wholesome graduation art and beautiful farewells. It's clear as day that she was loved and is going to be deeply missed. One of my favorite Twitter artists of all time, Hughes, did a gorgeous drawing of her as well. And lo and behold, it's the same drawing that's being used for Pikami's final farewell stream. Some less serious art dropping on Twitter includes silly ones like this graduation photo. Apparently this was something she tweeted and said, Fuck this! I'm silly mess! And then there's other art that's sort of a mix of emotions like this one. In the animation, Pikami is walking away and a sign says don't look back, and Pikami immediately turns around to see everyone waving. It's cute, but here's the reference clip. That's good stuff. While looking at random art, probably one of the most cursed fan art I've seen of Pikami is this one, which she actually recognized. I don't feel like elaborating on this picture, don't worry about it. Then there's this fan art that plays off of a meme of Pikami trying to break into someone's house. I don't know why, but I really like this stupid gif. And then there's other cute animations of her as a kaiju, like in this one by popular animator Kanaru. Nice. It's all good stuff, but there's actually one particular standout work I wanted to display because I think it encapsulates a combination of inside bits formed from the community and Pikami's personality. It's this work by Aimasu. It seems like a simple enough loading screen, but there's actually a lot of history and references in this one work alone. The kettle, of course, comes from Pikami's kettle-like laughter. The recorder she's holding comes from the BGM she used to use at the beginning of her streams way back when. The cat is Kuchira, Pikami's IRL cat that interrupts stream every now and then. The spatula or spoon thing comes from streams where she's rant about her random love for wooden spoons. The boat comes from School Days, a gory anime that uses a random boat transition as censorship, which Pikami used as just a normal transition. The kaiju Pikami comes from a random stream where she misunderstood a super chat and made herself really big on screen. Oh, wait, maybe you mean about the micro? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah. And last but not least, the people in the picture are members of VOMS, an organization Pikmi and her friends are all in. So yeah, it's a nice animation that encompasses the overall bright energy of Pikmi and her community. I will say, man, it's kind of wild to think that all of this history and Pikmi as a content creator is coming to a close. Of course, nothing lasts forever, but it doesn't make it any less sad. Especially being a streamer in 2020, I think a lot of people have some deep connections with her as a streamer. I know my friend's been on life support for about a month ever since the graduation announcement, but he'll be okay. And I hope Pikami will be too in anything she pursues. And it's clear that she's got the energy for it. Anyways, that's all I've got. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.